Do you remember the classic Hollywood actor who left a lasting impression in the 1967 movie Homburg? The film, directed by Martin Ritt, brought together a stellar cast, but was there a particular actor who stood out as your favorite? As we delve into the world of Homburg, we'll explore lesser known facts and anecdotes about this remarkable movie. From its production challenges to the behind the scenes stories, there's a wealth of fascinating details waiting to be uncovered. But before we embark on this cinematic journey, we'd like to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Homburg? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We're eager to hear from fellow enthusiasts. Now, let's set the stage and discover the intriguing facets of Homburg, a movie that has left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. So, what intriguing facts await us in the annals of this Western classic? Let's find out together. Homburg, the 1967 film directed by Martin Ritt and based on a novel by Elmore Leonard, presents a gripping Western drama that challenges conventions of the genre. The story follows John Russell, portrayed by Paul Newman, a white man raised by Apache Indians, who finds himself on a stagecoach journey through the dangerous Arizona desert. When a group of passengers, including a bigoted businessman and his wife, face a dire threat from outlaws, Russell's unique skills, and sense of justice are put to the test. The film explores themes of identity, prejudice, and morality as Russell navigates a morally complex world. With its morally ambiguous characters and gritty realism, Homber stands out in the Western genre, leaving a lasting impact on cinema and showcasing Paul Newman's versatile talent. Its exploration of race and identity also contributes to its enduring relevance, making it a thought-provoking classic in the world of Westerns. In the 1967 movie Homber, directed by Martin Ritt and based on a novel by Elmore Leonard, there's an interesting difference between the film and the original novel. Specifically, a character named Jesse Brown, portrayed by Diane Silento, who has significant screen time and dialogue in the movie doesn't exist in the novel. Similarly, Margaret Bly's character, Doris Blake, the wife of Billy Lee Blake, portrayed by Peter Laser, is another addition to the film version, as his character in the novel is a bachelor. The only other female character besides Mrs. Favor in the movie who rides in the mud wagon doesn't align with the novel either, as she is a 17-year-old woman recently released from Apache captivity. These changes in character dynamics between the film and the novel provide a unique perspective on how adaptations can alter the narrative and character interactions to suit the cinematic medium. It's a reminder that while movies like Homber may draw inspiration from literary sources, they often take creative liberties to enhance the storytelling for the big screen. The 1967 movie Homber faced challenges during its production due to intense rainstorms. Paul Newman, who played the lead role, used his free time for tennis, drinks, and lively conversations with Martin Balsam. Interestingly, the film was the favorite of Sean Connery, who was married to Diane Silento, a significant character in the movie. Additionally, Homber marked the final film appearance of Linda Cordova. These behind-the-scenes details shed light on the making and impact of this classic movie. The 1967 movie Homber, directed by Martin Ritt, marked the last collaboration between Paul Newman and the director. In this Western drama, Newman portrayed John Russell, a white man raised by Apache Indians, navigating a morally complex world in the dangerous Arizona desert. The film also featured Barbara Rush, who had previously been Newman's leading lady in The Young Philadelphians. While the movie Homber tells a gripping story of identity, prejudice, and justice, it's interesting to note the connections between the cast and their previous work together. This collaboration between Newman and Ritt holds a special place in cinematic history, and Homber remains a thought-provoking classic in the world of Westerns. One included among the 1001 movies you must see before you die, edited by Steven Schneider. The 1967 movie Homber holds a special place in cinematic history. It's not just any Western drama, it's a film that has been recognized for its enduring quality. In fact, Homber is included among the 1001 movies you must see before you die, a prestigious list edited by Steven Schneider. This designation speaks to the lasting impact and significance of the film in the world of cinema. If you haven't seen it yet, Homber is definitely a movie worth watching to understand its place in the pantheon of must-see films. 
the cast of the 1967 movie Homber boasts a remarkable lineup of talent. This western drama, based on a novel by Elmore Leonard, features three Oscar winners, Paul Newman, Frederick March, and Martin Balsam. Additionally, Diane Silento, a notable member of the cast, received an Oscar nomination. The presence of these accomplished actors in the film adds depth and credibility to the story. Their performances contribute to the enduring appeal of Homber and the world of cinema. It's a testament to the film's quality that it attracted such a talented ensemble. This information sheds light on the star-studded cast and their impact on the movie, making Homber a must-see classic in the Western genre. Hollywood's hidden secrets, unveiling the cover-ups and their impact on Homber's cast member. In the world of showbiz, not everything is as it seems. Behind the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, there often lie dark secrets and scandals that the industry has tried to keep under wraps. One such instance involves a cast member of the 1967 movie Homber. While the film itself is a classic Western drama, the life of one of its actors was marked by a hidden truth. This actor faced a battle with a disease that Hollywood attempted to conceal, much like many other scandals involving influential figures in the industry. The efforts to protect this actor's image and reputation shed light on the lengths to which Hollywood would go to safeguard its stars. The untold story behind Homber's cast member and their struggle with this hidden secret is a testament to the murky side of the entertainment world. It's a story that reveals the complex web of relationships and power dynamics within Hollywood and the impact it had on both the actor and the industry as a whole. Stay tuned as we delve into this compelling narrative and expose the cover-ups that shaped the life of Homber's cast member, ultimately influencing their career and the way Hollywood approached such issues. It's a revealing look at the darker side of the silver screen. 4. Love in the Spotlight, The Tragic Toll of Public Relationships on Homber's Cast Member in Hollywood In the world of Hollywood, public relationships can take a toll on the lives of actors. For one of the cast members of the 1967 movie Homber, the spotlight's glare on their personal life had a tragic impact. As they navigated the complexities of fame, their relationships with fellow actors and public figures made headlines, sometimes overshadowing their career achievements. The strain of constant public scrutiny and the demands of maintaining a public persona took a toll on their well-being. This cast member's journey through the highs and lows of love in the spotlight is a poignant reminder of the challenges that come with fame. It sheds light on the sacrifices they made in their pursuit of a successful career in the unforgiving world of Hollywood. Their story serves as a cautionary tale about the price of fame and the importance of maintaining a sense of self amidst the pressures of the entertainment industry. Stay tuned as we delve into the heartbreaking story of love in the spotlight and the tragic toll it took on Homber's cast member in Hollywood. As we draw the curtains on our cinematic journey through the iconic 1967 film Homber, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the profound impact this masterpiece has had on your cinematic sensibilities. This compelling western, with its gripping narrative, and stellar performances has the power to evoke a multitude of emotions and thoughts within each of us. Perhaps you were captivated by Paul Newman's portrayal of John Russell, a character whose moral complexity challenges us to explore the depths of our own principles. Or maybe you found yourself swept away by the stark and unforgiving beauty of the Arizona landscape, a visual metaphor for the harsh realities of life. Homber is more than just a movie, it's an exploration of human nature, morality, and the struggle for justice. It provides a mirror through which we can examine our own beliefs and values. What resonated with you? What scenes or dialogues linger in your memory? Did the film's themes leave you with a sense of introspection? Share your thoughts and memories with us as your unique perspective enriches the collective tapestry of our appreciation for this classic. Thank you for embarking on this cinematic journey with us. Your time and interest in Homber are greatly appreciated. Keep the spirit of this remarkable film alive through your thoughts and discussions. And remember, the story of Homber is an ever-evolving narrative, with each new viewer adding a fresh layer of interpretation.